The GDPR went into effect on May 25th, 2018. And if your business collects names, email addresses, uses cookies or gets IP addresses from anyone located in the European Union, and let's face it, many companies do, you are going to be required to comply with this regulation. And it's going to apply to you whether your business is located in the EU, Canada, or the United States. In this video, I'm going to give you four tips to help you maintain compliance with the GDPR. Your legal lesson starts now. Hey, how's it going? I'm Andy Contaglia, a lawyer here in Denver, Colorado. I'm bringing you your legal lessons in business. I'm here to help educate you about the law in business. So if this is your first time visiting this channel, please like, please subscribe, and stay up to date. That way you can get a more detailed understanding about the legal problems that you can encounter while running and managing a business in the United States. And if you haven't seen my other video giving a general overview of the GDPR, I suggest you watch it before venturing out and getting into some specifics with this video. When it comes to the GDPR, the good news is, well, this will be a wake-up call for many U.S.-based businesses that have neglected their data gathering and what they will be doing with it. The bad news is, unfortunately, many companies threw their privacy policies together like a patchwork blanket and never really gave it a second thought. And in these situations, these companies do not actually comply with their own privacy policies, and in some instances, they're not even sure what's in them. And overall, as we know, that is bad business practice. And under the GDPR, there are serious consequences for that behavior. Now, not every organization is the same, and there isn't one privacy policy that will fit every type of business. The reason for that is because different organizations collect, manage, store, and use information and data in many different ways. So the data that's beneficial for one company might not be beneficial to another company. So in order to understand how your company can comply with the GDPR, I'm gonna give you four tips. Tip number one, have a clear understanding of how your organization collects, manages, stores, and uses data. If all you're doing is getting customers to opt into a newsletter, all you need is an email address. You don't need any other type of identifying information. So only collect enough data to accomplish the need that you're actually trying to promote. Number two, inform your users about that data strategy. The key here is transparency. Transparency, transparency, transparency. Number three, to receive affirmative consent from your users about those details, for instance, by requiring users to push a consent button or an opt-in button, simply posting a privacy policy on your site isn't going to be good enough anymore. So users must affirmatively consent to your use of their data get them to check the box. Number four, to comply with your policy in a consistent way. Take the time and the opportunity to actually understand how your privacy policy works and how you manage your customer data. Take time to update it, make it better, and correct any gaps in the process. None of this is going to be easy, and to do it right, you're going to have to actually take the time to go through your policies and put everything together. Make sure that you meet with your technical team, make sure you meet with your management team to make sure that everything is working and managing effectively. With internet usage happening globally, even the smallest business in the United States has the opportunity to engage with customers in Europe and the GDPR is going to apply to almost everyone. So in 2018, this is how we must conduct business on an international level. So I'm curious, what steps are you gonna to take to make sure that you maintain GDPR compliance? Leave a comment below and let others know what you're up to. So if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to get more content to help educate you about the law in business. Thank you for watching, good luck.